That must be so jarring. Um, like I haven't had anyone like immensely close to me die. Um, thankfully, you know, especially especially like tragically. And like, I can only imagine what that would feel like. Like if you're if you're having dreams at night and. I mean, obviously, I know what having dreams at night and, like, feeling like they're real. But, like, I can't imagine how jarring and just, like, horrible that must be, like, if you're having dreams about that person that you just, like, suddenly lost. Like, that much- that must be, like, the weirdest, like, heartbreaking kind of dream. You know, and I'm sure- I'm sure that people have them. Cause, like, how could you not- how could your brain not, you know? I know that conversation went, you know, <laughs> downhill, but... You know, this is kind of like an uplifting portion where it's like... She's taking the- what do I have now? Oh, so I have all the rings. Like, she's taking all of the- like the trauma, like the bad, the, what did he call it? The fear and chaos from her like memories. And she's like flipping them. Like she's working on them and she's quote, like fixing them and making them right again. So it's kind of like an uplifting like part of portion of this, but I don't know. Okay. So let's, I wonder if we have to put these in order. 